All right, so I'm really excited because I get to talk about the blood of Jesus with you guys. I have been getting rocked by the blood of Jesus and what it's done and what is available because his blood was spilt. Um, if you haven't dived into this mystery, it is explosive. It is like... It changes, it changes everything. Like the blood of Jesus changes everything. His blood has bought us, it's redeemed us. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like this is where the church just, just stopped. Like we believe the blood has cleansed us, but it has done so much more than just cleanse us. It has brought us into a new covenant. It has brought us into everything that is available in the kingdom we were like the blood purchased us to become fully his and now we partake in his blood and in his flesh right the the communion that we partake in it's to demonstrate and it's for us to partake partake in the reality of our union with god the blood of Christ has brought us to be one with him so here's one of my favorite verses about how to enter his presence honestly like guys this is this is a beautiful like if you're having a hard time encountering Jesus just use this verse it will transform your your reality and your experience with Jesus so Hebrews 10 verse 19 it says therefore brethren having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of jesus so the blood of jesus gives us access to enter the holiest place the place that was only entered by once a year by one priest and now jesus has made a way by his blood for us to have boldness before there was fear because there wasn't an assurance of purity of, of of the purging of sin but the blood of jesus we've received his blood to wash us from all sin to cleanse our conscience because his blood was sufficient because this is why this is why we believe in him because he was the son of god with pure blood he was undefiled he was spot the spotless lamb of god was slain for our purification so that we would have boldness to access and enter the the holiest of all like this is like the holiest of all was where the reality of the presence of almighty god was there and now it says we have boldness by his blood to enter in by verse 20 a new and living way it's new and it's living and guess what every time it's new and every time it's living this is why the experience of god like isn't just a formula it's the the real blood of jesus that we've received which is eternal his blood is eternal that's why we can receive it right now like today receive the blood of jesus because it's an eternal sacrifice that speaks continually before the throne of God on our behalf for our purification and we can receive it freely by faith and once we've been sprinkled with the blood we're cleansed and we enter in by the new and living way which he consecrated for us like Jesus we know that Jesus is the way he is the way the truth and the life right so we enter in by Jesus, which he consecrated that way for us by himself through the veil that, and it says, by a new living way, which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh and, ha and having a high priest over the house of God. So he brought us in and the veil, listen to this, there's a mystery here, the veil is his flesh which was torn remember his body was broken so that his blood would be poured out make sense 
he was broken, he was crushed so that his blood would be gushed out for our sins to cleanse us. So, but his, his flesh was the veil. So when Jesus was broken on the cross, the reason why he had to go that way was because the presence of God was in Jesus. Think about that. He was the temple of God. Remember, that's why he said, destroy this temple and I'll rebuild it in three days. Remember, Jesus was the temple of God and when his body was, was crushed and broken and his blood gushed out, that was the veil that was torn now demonstrating that the presence of God is available to everyone who believes in the Son. Guys, if you believe in Jesus, you have full access by complete right because his blood was spilled and he made this way for us to experience him. him. He made this way so that we have continual fellowship with him. So don't believe any lies that, that make you strive for his presence. His blood has provided a way and has made a way. Jesus made a new and living way so that you had constant communion with God. His body was broken, his blood poured out so that you would have fellowship and, and, and joy in his presence. So guys, this is a great mystery, but enter in because it's available and we can't afford to miss this truth, this reality. So be washed in the blood, rejoice in the simple gospel and enter in, enter into the holiest of all. Go and be with him and love him with all your heart. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe below and uh, we'll keep on building, building in this family. Love you guys. Peace.